और अब आमंत्रित करते हैं प्रोग्रेसिव आइडियाज और विजन श्री कुमार मंगलम बिल्ला जी की चेयरमैन आदित्य बिल्ला ग्रुप Honorable Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi ji Honorable Minister for Telecom IT and Railways Shri Ashwini Vaishnav Honorable Minister of State Shri Debu Singh Chauhan Honorable Secretary Telecom Shri M Rajaraman Mr Mukesh Ambani Mr Sunil Mittal Thank you Honorable Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi ji for your very inspiring presence today at the Indian Mobile Congress 2022 it is on the back of your vision and leadership that we will today witness a generational leap in technology this is a leap that demonstrates india's prowess on the global stage and reinforces the telecom industry's role as the bedrock of digital india honorable sir we thank you for acknowledging the industry's role during the pandemic and for the path breaking tele, tele, telecom reforms announced by the government under your leadership i take this opportunity to also thank minister shri ashwini vaishnav for steering the sector so skillfully into the future i express i express my gratitude to minister of state shri devu singh chauhan secretary dot chairman trai and all the officers of dot and trai for accelerating the country's digitization agenda as all of you know the telecom industry has been one of the country's key growth engines catapulting india into the top 5 economies of the world it continues to play a transformational role touching every aspect of our daily lives and work today we are set to make a giant leap into the future driven by the reformist and futuristic policies of our honorable prime minister we are committed to the vision of building the digital infrastructure for the india of tomorrow as the honorable prime minister launches india's 5g networks here today the telecom industry will further ignite the digital dreams of 1.3 billion indians and many thousands of enterprises it will also set the stage for the country to become a 5 trillion dollar economy in the next few years with a trillion dollar contribution by the digital economy itself 5g will augment services at scale and will create impact in critical areas like industry 4.0 automated manufacturing to creating the connected factory smart cities smart automobiles smart homes immersive gaming and other innovative business and consumer solutions 5g will also accelerate immersive education remote health and smart agriculture to enable in inclusive growth and prosperity in rural india thus realizing the pm's philosophy of benefit to antyodaya the honorable prime minister's vision global influence as well as enabling government policies and platforms such as gati shakti and make in india will play a crucial role in catalyzing the required investments into our sector so your government has made critical policy interventions boosting investor confidence in the sector and as we move into the 5g era we hope to receive continued policy support to drive the 5g revolution in this digital decade vodafone idea is committed to taking india on this new pace of the country's digital journey we have 240 million citizens connected to our networks with 50% of them in rural india our networks have been constantly upgraded to be capable of smooth and swift migration to 5g having having taken concrete steps for the 5g ecosystem development 5g use cases for indian enterprises and consumers and acquisition of 5g spectrum in a very well designed auction we will soon begin the 5g rollout journey we will leverage our strong presence in rural india our enterprise customers our technology partners and the global experience of the vodafone group for progressively rolling out our 5g networks and services in the coming period 
Today, we are greatly honored that our beloved Prime Minister will soon launch the VI 5G use case demonstration. Our unique use case addresses the need for safe working conditions for workers at infrastructure construction sites by leveraging digital infrastructure and 5G. It will demonstrate how a high-speed, ultra-low latency 5G network can be used in India for ensuring worker safety and efficiency in the supervision of critical construction sites. I believe the launch of 5G services marks the beginning of an exciting journey for India. As the ecosystem evolves, we will see limitless potential for 5G development and use cases in the years to come. I thank our Prime Minister for underlining his support to the sector with his presence here today. The telecom industry will certainly play its role in bringing alive his vision for an Atmanirbhar Bharat. Thank you.